let's consider the units of mu. So the units of the shear stress are units of force over area, so force over length squared, and the units of shear rate are length over length over time, so one over time, which means that mu must have units of force times time over length squared, or newton seconds per meter squared, or pascal seconds. In some texts that use CGS units instead of C SI units, you'll see the term poise, and one poise is 10 pascal seconds or 10 newton seconds per meter squared. Uh, we'll also sometimes see the term kinematic viscosity. The kinematic viscosity nu is defined as mu, the viscosity, divided by rho, the density. Now, viscosity typically increases with temperature in gases and decreases with temperature in liquids. As a few examples, the viscosity of air at 20 degrees Celsius is 1.8 by 10 to the minus 5 pascal seconds. The viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 1.0 by 10 to the minus 3 pascal seconds, 50 times greater. The viscosity of blood plasma at 37 degrees Celsius is only a little bit greater than that of water at room temperature, 1.2 by 10 to the minus 3 pascal seconds. But the viscosity of whole blood is not a constant. Unlike blood plasma, whole blood is a non-Newtonian fluid. Presence of the red blood cells makes whole blood non-linear and it's sometimes referred to as a shear thinning fluid. So the faster the blood flows, the higher the shear rate, the lower the apparent viscosity. So the viscosity is no longer a constant, it depends on the shear rate. And so a Newtonian viscous fluid is not such a good approximation for whole blood under many conditions.